y'all, it's Trish with Crafting Cousins. We are so happy you stopped by our channel today. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you like what you see and will come back often. If you are returning, thank you so much. We truly appreciate you. In today's video, we will be sharing three patriotic DIYs that are perfect for the 4th of July and are quick and easy to make. We hope that you will enjoy them. Hey y'all, let's craft. Hey y'all, it's Trish. For this project, I'm going to use part of this small shutter that I got at Habitat for Humanity for $3. I love how beat up it is and old looking and I think it's going to be perfect. Some of these wood letters that I got from Pop Shelf, you can get these at any craft store. Some scrapbook paper, I got this from Hobby Lobby. A sawtooth hanger, some Mod Podge, a furniture repair marker from the Dollar Tree, some star stickers from Hobby Lobby, and my glue gun and some glue sticks. Since we're only going to be using part of our shutter, I did need to take it apart. Now, someone had painted over the hinges on this, so I did have to break the paint off, but once I did that, the screws came out easily and I was able to take this apart. Y'all, I find these shutters all the time at Habitat for Humanity, and I love using them for little projects. Once we have it apart, all I'm going to do is clean it. I didn't want to paint it because I want it to keep that old rustic look. So I'm going to use a Mr. Clean eraser and then I'll take it to the sink and wash it down really well and let it dry. Once it's dry, I'm going to put a sawtooth hanger on the back. We'll just use a hammer to hammer that on. Now I'm going to work on my letters. I love these chunky wooden letters and I got these from Pop Shelf for a dollar each. Now if you don't have a Pop Shelf in your area, you can get letters like this at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, even at Dollar General. I love the wood look, but I didn't want it to be an unfinished wood look. I wanted it to look more rustic. So I grabbed one of my furniture repair markers. I get these from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to go around and stain the edges of this. I thought that that dark color would not only make it look rustic, it would make it pop out from my project. Once I got those stained, I lay them face down onto my scrapbook paper on the back of it, and I'm going to trace around it so I know where to cut it. Now, on that middle one, I didn't want those stripes to go straight across, so I did lay it at an angle before I traced around it. Then we're just going to cut out our letters, and we will attach our paper to our wooden letters using our Mod Podge. I do put down a really good coat because this is kind of thick paper, and then I like to mist my paper. It softens it up, and I think it sticks down better. Now, you don't have to do this step. On the second one, I'm showing you that you can do it even without misting it. I just prefer to mist mine because I like how it softens up, and it just seems to go down so much easier for me. We're going to stick these down, and then we'll use our roller to get out any bubbles or wrinkles and then I'm going to use my sanding block and go around the edges. I love to do this with these kind of projects. All this is going to do is take off any excess paper that's hanging over. That way you didn't have to worry about getting it cut precisely and it kind of gives it a rustic look which works perfectly with this project. Just take your sanding block and go down all the way around the edges of your letters. Now we will arrange these onto our shutter. I wanted mine to be kind of cockeyed. I like it to be a little whimsical. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to use some wood glue and some hot glue, and I'm going to attach these down. Now I do put down quite a bit of wood glue. Once this sets up, it forms a really good bond, and that was what I wanted my main bond to be. I'm just using the hot glue to hold it until it sets. Once we get those on there, I decided to use some of these little star stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby and put them just in different places just to kind of give it some more color and some more interest. You certainly don't have to do this. I just like to jazz my stuff up. You could also use the wood um, stars from Dollar Tree and just paint those. That would be pretty as well. Once you get your stars attached, this project will be finished.
Thank you for stopping by our channel today. If you are new here, we hope that you will subscribe by clicking on the little button below. Make sure you ring the bell so you will be notified every time we upload new content. We upload new videos each week offering a variety of DIYs, trash to treasure projects, and tips, tricks, and hacks. We just know you'll find something you like with Crafting Cousins. Hey y'all, it's Trish. For this project, I'm going to use this old piece of wood that I got from beside the road. I saw where someone had took a fence down and they had piled up all of these boards. And every time I come across one of these, I always stop and go through it because I love this kind of old wood for these projects. A pocket from an old pair of jeans, some flowers that I had on hand from the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Walmart. You can use anything you have that fits your decor. This welcome word from Pop Shelf. You can also get these at pretty much any craft store. Some wood glue, a furniture repair marker, some twine that I got from the Dollar Tree, some Waverly White chalk paint, a little piece of ribbon, and my glue gun and some glue sticks. So this is going to be one of the simplest projects that we do, but I absolutely love how they come out. The first thing we're gonna do is cut the pocket off of a pair of old jeans. I always save my old jeans for projects like this. And then once you get it off, you're just gonna trim it up, making sure that you get all of those edges clean. You want it to look like just the pocket. Now I'm gonna take my wood and I figure out where I want this to lay. And I'm gonna take my word and lay it kind of on top of it. I wanted it to go over the edge of it. And then once I'm happy with it, I flip that pocket up and I use some of my wood glue on the back of it. And then I'm gonna take some hot glue and put around it as well. My wood glue is going to bond it to my wood, but that hot glue is just gonna hold it in place until it sets. Before we do anything else to the front of our sign, I do want to go ahead and add a hanger. I just take a piece of twine, tie a knot in it, making a loop, and then I'm gonna flood that with some hot glue and put a piece of ribbon over it. I press it down really well and then trim off the ends and we have a hanger. For my little word, I took one of those furniture repair markers that you get from the Dollar Tree and I just stained the top of it. I thought I was gonna leave it like this, but then I decided I wanted it to look a little more rustic and this was just a little too pristine. So I took some of my Waverly white chalk paint and a chippy brush and I went over it real well and gave it a heavy distressing. Now we are going to use some of our wood glue and some of our hot glue and we're gonna attach our word to the bottom of our sign. I put the wood glue in just some strategic places and then I went back with my hot glue and now I'm gonna put it so it just kinda of overlaps my pocket a little bit and hold it until it sets. The last thing I want to do is add some flowers to my pocket. I grabbed these white and kind of red and well, really more purple than blue, but I thought that it gave the same feel as the 4th of July or patriotic and y'all know I love that look. So that was why I went with these. I cut them apart and then I just start poking them down into the pocket. I just kind of push them in there until I'm happy with how they look. Y'all know we call this poking posies. Once you get all of your flowers into your pocket and you're happy with it, this project is finished. Hey y'all, it's Trish. For this project, we're going to use one of these chunky wood stars from the Dollar Tree. This little base that came off of another sign that I used in another project, I held on to it because I knew I'd find a purpose for it. This little chalkboard from the Dollar Tree, these come in a pack of four, some Waverly chalk paint in ink, a piece of burlap ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree, some Mod Podge, some scrapbook paper, I got this from Hobby Lobby, an ink pad and a finger dauber, 
an Arteza white gel pen, and my glue gun and some glue sticks. So I removed the hanger from my star because we are not going to be hanging this and I didn't need it. And then I took my Waverly chalk paint in ink and I gave it a really good coat. Now this only takes one coat. This has a really good coverage. I did paint the back and the sides of my star, but I didn't worry about the top because we're going to be decoupaging it. And then for my little stand, I did paint the top, the bottom, and all the sides and left it to dry. While that is drying, I'm going to work on my little chalkboard sign here. I wanted to take this clip off, so I just used my heat gun and it heated it up and softened that glue and I was able to pop it off without breaking it. Now I'm going to use my Arteza white gel pen and I'm just going to write Liberty on the front of it. You can put anything you want here and I did have to go over it about three times to make it stand out. Now that our paint is dry, I'm going to work on my paper for my star. I lay it face down on the back of my paper and trace around it, and I did want to split the star. I wanted part of the paper to be at an angle to the top and then the other at the bottom. Now we're just going to cut out our paper, then we'll use a heavy coat of Mod Podge on the top of our star and we will mist our paper with some water. This just softens it up and then we're going to stick it right down onto the top and smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles. We'll do the same thing with the stars and we're going to overlap it just a little bit. Once we have that on, I'm going to take my sanding block and I'm just going to go around the edges and sand down. This is going to take off any a paper that might be hanging over those edges and it kind of finishes it up. Now I'm going to use my ink pad and my little finger dauber and I'm going to go right around the edges of this star and this is just going to blend it in and make it look like it was bought this way. I'm going to take a little piece of that burlap ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut it down to fit across my star over that seam. I didn't have anything thinner so I did have to cut this bigger piece. I found a thread in my burlap. This just helps you get a straight cut. I cut it and then I'm going to pull away some more threads just to give it that jagged edge. Now we'll use some hot glue and attach it right over that seam and then I'll take my scissors and trim it down to fit perfectly. Now I'm going to take my little sign and I figure out where I want it to be and use some hot glue to attach it. Then we're going to grab our little base, use a little more hot glue to attach it to that and with that this project is finished. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you liked, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We are also over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest and would love it if you would click the link below and join us over there as well. If you enjoyed this episode, check out these videos for even more DIY inspiration. Bye, y'all.